You know, going to conventions is not all fun and games if you are a convention artist. Hey, welcome back. This is Satria, C-E-T-R-I-Y-A. And today, while I show you a lovely work in progress video of work that I am working on, um, I am going to talk about reasons why I'm not going to conventions for some time being. And two major reasons is one, I don't make enough money to justify the amount of hours that I put into the show. And that's ultimately one of the biggest reasons. And two, I work a full time job. So it's really hard to get time off and then to take that time off to go and work some more. Now, some people are into the whole hustle culture grind and I am too. However, I'm deciding to refocus my little bit of time and energy I have left to actually completing our end project I have noticed and I've kind of heard comments of a few people who when they work full-time or they got some other kind of full-time obligation they are unable to do as many new pieces of art and illustration work while trying to keep up with the whole convention um, timetable and to be frank you guys even those who just attend a convention and not actually you know table or work at convention I feel conventions has gotten to a point where it needs a little bit of a a little bit of a restructuring, right? As an attendee myself, I feel like a lot of these conventions have kind of run into each other. A lot of the experiences that they provide can now be provided online. So there's not really a big reason for me to go to conventions. Um, on the attendee side, it's gotten more and more expensive for people to attend said conventions. So if it's gotten more expensive, expensive for them and of course you have the whole economy and all that stuff going on then of course they got less money to spend in artist deli and add to the fact that it seems like a lot of conventions in order to mitigate some of the costs that it that occurs for planning and creating these conventions um they've made artist alley a lot larger um they're a bit less scrutinizing when it comes to who gets the table um some are becoming more scrutinizing but in general it's a lot of logistics on their end to make a show like this and if just a little bit of something wrong it could really impact you know the artist and the vendors uh pockets and in the last couple of years from time to time i've heard people stating how you know things have stagnated um things aren't growing or for some it has regressed other people are reprioritizing which shows that they're going to even if they make a decent amount of money but they're at a point in their life where they either a make more money doing something else or the money does not overcome you know some other things or obligations that they do that they got to prioritize so like i said on my my end the two main reasons why i don't do conventions for a little i won't be doing them for some time being is simply because i have a full-time job and it's really hard for me to get those days off and then what little time I do have I want to work on you know working on um, finishing my comic and not only that I feel like I've kind of plateaued in a lot of areas of my art and it just takes time to sit there and practice and deliberately practice and deliberately you know put in the hours of just drawing time and studying time to improve your art and if you don't continuously do that what can end up happening is you know you get to a point where everyone has improved and you're not the best artist any longer and with that comes with the fact that your sales will naturally decline in general because uh, because other people are just better than you it's just simple right so yeah that is why i will not be doing conventions for some time now and hopefully you guys might be thinking about whether you should be doing conventions or lessening to the conventions that you attend either as an artist or an attendee um i will say that i do wish that more conventions did the two-day 
um, you know, just a Saturday and Sunday route versus a three day because I only think the three days or even the four days are really just for the really well intended large conventions, you know, like the anime expos, the New York and San Diego Comic Cons, um, maybe an Otakon, like one, a couple of those conventions could be that large. But ultimately, a two day convention is much better on everyone's pockets. I'm sure a lot of you have bought the three day ticket because it's cheaper. And perhaps you went for one day or two days, and then gave the ticket to someone else. And add to the fact that a lot less people would just walk around the artist alley and say, I will come back and then just end up not coming back. So I think with the two days, it just condensed things really small, intense. It's easier for the logistics of the people who make the show. It's easier on the attendees to enjoy a nice little weekend show. And it's easier for the vendors to hit up a couple of these shows and not have to waste even more or lose more days that the money, you know, the amount of money per hour that they make doesn't really uh doesn't really compensate for all of the prep time so yeah hopefully this uh this little chat this art and chat was interesting to you guys let me know in the comments below will you continue to attend conventions and if so are you going to continue to attend the same number of conventions are you yourself are a convention artist and how is that working out for you guys so yeah all the best, you guys. Hopefully this was interesting to you and I will see you guys in the next video.